What's going on guys and welcome back to another Gary's Mod Five Nights at Freddy's video. Now in today's video we are on a very, very cool map. I mean, just take a look around. You guys know where we are at. We are at Fazbear Fright. In case you guys don't know, this is the place that was burned down, the horror attraction that is uh, now back and we're in it <laughs> in Gary's Mod. And it actually looks really freaking cool. Like, look at this. You got the box full of the animatronic heads. You have the posters on the wall. You have the phone call. Or you have the... Wait. No, you don't have the phone. Where's the phone? How are they gonna call me, man? <laughs> How am I supposed to get my tutorial, bro? How is Scott supposed to talk to me? Also, it's missing the camera system. I'm not sure why it's missing a few things, but it's still really cool. Like, it's got like the little Freddy over here. It's got vents throughout it that kind of lead you to different areas. Even the arcade room. Like, come on, man. All, all it's missing is like being able to play these, which I don't think it's possible on Gary's mod, but still really cool. Also, some cameras. And, uh, ooh, what does this one lead to? What the heck? Where? Ooh, okay. We find a secret. Or does it lead to the exit? I think it leads to the exit. Wow, this is a big vent. Holy crap! <laughs> and this isn't even the point of the video either. I just figured I'd show you guys around this map before we got into the video. And it, oh, also, if you guys want to see more of this series, don't forget to drop a like on the video down below. Always goes a very long way. Oh yeah, this leads to the exit, and we can't go out. And I'm guessing this one. Actually, I'm not even gonna take the vent because I think this one leads to Foxy's head, like that little like side right here. This side right here. And I think it does. Oh, it probably leads right here, actually. Yep. All right, so you can actually connect into the office from there. And, of course, that's where Spring Chap would run through, too. How cool is this freaking map? What the heck? What happened to Golden Freddy? What happened? He's really let himself go. What happened to him? Oh, my God. Okay, well, anyways, we are on this map for a specific reason. Obviously, we're on the Fight Freddy's 3 map. We're in Fazbear Fright. We have to do the Phantom Animatronics. And, uh, well, if we take a look here, first of all, I'm on my NPC list here. Obviously, we have all my other ones I've kind of shown you guys. I don't think I've shown you guys these yet. I'm saving these. Uh, if I go back, the Shadow Freddy and Shadow Bonnie. I might have shown you guys them. I honestly can't remember. But if you guys haven't seen those yet, expect a video on them soon. But this is why we're really here. We have the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 animatronics now these are the friendly versions of them um obviously we also have the hostile version which doesn't really make a difference they just have like guns so if i go ahead and click phantom puppet he kind of spawns in and he's super hostile he does not like me but he's also terrifying and he does punch all right you're gonna have to go down bro holy crap he's invincible hold on does he actually die oh there we go oh and my game crashed <laughs> my game crashed I blew him up and my game just exploded along with his head. All right, well, I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys, so we're back on the map again. Uh, yeah, I turned off the gore mods. I completely forgot I even had those on. But, uh, yeah, that kind of crashed the game. <laughs> so, um, yeah, let's not do that. And uh, let's spawn in some animatronics, though, throughout the place here. So, these are obviously the hostile versions. If they had guns, they would be shooting me down right now. So, I kind of got to avoid them in certain ways. But I do want to take a look at each individual animatronic for you guys. So, let's get Mangle there. Uh, let's go out here, let's put Balloon Boy, and then in here, let's put the Puppet. Sure, why not? Alright, so here are the animatronics. Look at him go. Oh, where's he going? That's actually kind of terrifying. Oh, God. okay, it's not terrifying whenever he pulls out a gun, though. What the heck is he doing? He's like so- Oh, God! He's just coming up on me. Stay back, stay back. Get away, get away. No, I'm gonna kill you. Hold on, I need a better gun. Um, let's see, what should we use, guys? Let's see here. Um, I think I'll use the Hyper Beast. Why not? You know what? Also, comment down below, which of these is your personal favorite animatronic? So we have Phantom Blue Boy, who's trying to punch me right now. And, uh, he died trying. We have the Puppet, who is also dead now. We have the Phantom Foxy. Comment down below, of course. We have Phantom Golden Freddy. And then we have Phantom Chica. And I think there's one over here, too, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, you're trying to run away, aren't you, Phantom Mangle? So, uh, yeah, comment your favorite down below in the comment section. I'm gonna say my personal favorite would probably be the Phantom Puppet. It just looks awesome. Like, look at this thing. Hold on, let's get out our, uh, gravity gun- or not gravity, physics gun. And, uh, oh, we can't pick him up. Come on, I just wanna take a look at him. Um, but yeah, so they're there. Um, also, we can also, of course, spawn in the, um, fr friendly version of, of them. So that really doesn't do anything helpful. I mean, they'll help us out, obviously, if, uh, we spawn in a hostile version. And, uh, I think the hostile version will actually win here because I don't think friendly actually attacks. Yeah, it's, it's just, it's just getting smacked to death right now. <laughs> I'll help you out, bro. I got you. All right. Your friend's here. I got you. Just kidding. All right. So anyways, now let's get to the playable animatronics because yes, there is playable versions. Those were just the NPCs. Now let's go to the, our morph suits here. And here we go. Finds phrase three. Now, oh wait, that, I clicked the wrong one. <laughs> 
<laughs> it's uh i think it's yeah here it is the fnf fnaf3 i don't know why they have like they didn't go in the same section but whatever um now unfortunately the only thing about these are they don't have all the animatronics now in npcs obviously i got all the animatronics but in this one i am missing a lot of them like we only have phantom foxy phantom freddy and spring trap now one of the things that these were missing the npcs was spring trap which is right here and uh we can actually play as him in fazbear fright now once again he has the syndrome that all of these <laughs> npcs have where they're just they're gigantic and they take up an insane amount of space like look he, he couldn't even get through here if he was in this he'd have to like crowd he'd have to go in like every door like this you guys imagine oh my god that's so creepy though if you actually go inside the vent as him like this is how he would actually attack you because like he would go like like right here and then just lay down crawl through the vent and then come up right behind you and just kill you like that now besides that oh wait i think he has yeah he has uh the vent sound effect okay so like if i was in here i could press f and it makes that like vent sound effect on top of the vent sound effect, which is kind of interesting. Now, besides that, of course, you can turn invisible. You can't really see it because it's like completely dark in here. Um, but yeah, there you go. I'm invisible. Then you can come back. You kind of see like his endoskeleton and stuff like that. Also, if I get out the camera here, we can get some like uh, front shots here. So let's go ahead and do this real quick and uh, pull this out. All right, so I need to go back as a human now. Let's put our camera like right here, maybe, I guess. That's a good area, right? You think? All right, so there we go. Let's go ahead and go back at Spring Trap and press T. And uh, it's a little dark, <laughs> but that's creepy how his eyes actually glow like that. It's actually really cool. So uh, that's how you kind of see them like in games, kind of chilling in the light or something like that. And uh, laying down, of course, that's how he looks. And uh, let's go ahead and press T again. Let's go to a brighter area, though. I do want to be able to like actually see what they look like, they, like their face and stuff like that. So where's a good bright area? Like right here in the office, you figure. All right, so camera... Get that going right there. Now, I think we might be a little bit too big for this area, but let's see here. And there we are. So, Springtrap is back in Fazbear Fright. He's not, he, the, the place might have burned down, but he's still alive somehow and looking really cool. All right, so now let's go ahead and move on to another animatronic here. So, let me go ahead and go back and uh, let's do Phantom Freddy, I guess. Why not? Hold on, I need to put the camera back. I completely forgot. All right, so let's put that there. And let's spawn back in as Phantom Freddy. And holy crap, you thought Springtrap was huge. Take a look at this guy. <laughs> he is massive. Let's press T and take a look at him from the front. Oh my god, that is so cool. All right, let's see what his ability is. Okay, so he does that. And he floats. What the? Are you guys seeing that? He's like floating. He just came off the... Uh, uh, he, <laughs> why does he float, dude? That is so cool. That is awesome. That is okay. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know he would do that. All right, now let's crouch see what this does. Okay, crouch. He just kind of does that position where he has like his mouth open and he's kind of like bent forward and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Um, and I think that's really it for him. Of course, you can turn invisible as him too. Nothing really to see here except for his like endoskeleton. And now he's floating again. You're not supposed to do that, bro. That's freaky. All right. You can't do freaky stuff over here. Anyways, though, now let's go ahead and switch to. Oh, wait, we got to do his run. I forgot about that. Oh, what? He floats towards you. What? That is so cool. Hold on, we got to move back a little bit. Okay, so check this out. He literally floats towards you. That is so awesome. Oh my god, I love that. That is, that's all, that's terrifying. Like, if you saw that running behind you, that'd be freaky. I forgot to do spring trap too. So here's spring traps run. Um, pretty simple, honestly. Nothing really exciting there <laughs> yeah he just kind of just you know does a basic run forward he's basic all right guys anyways though let's go to phantom foxy the final animatronic here and take a look at him so here is a closer look at him if i go like right on top of the camera and i press the crouch button oh he does the same sort of thing as golden freddy where he's kind of like leans forward so unfortunately you guys can't get a full look at him because he's obviously you know like <laughs> he's not obviously close enough to the camera but anyways so if you press f he does oh, the same sound as i think it was freddy uh, I might be wrong about that, though. And then if we press the turn invisible button, he does this. And uh, that's really it for him. If we do the attack, it doesn't do anything. If we do the crouch, like I said, boy, it just does this again. And that is Phantom Fox. So that was Phantom Foxy. And that is the Five Nights at Freddy's 3 map. Like I said before, if I go ahead and press start here and we take a look at my other map, start a new game. I have Fights Phrase 3. I have Fights Phrase 2 Rotten. I don't know what those are. I don't think they work properly. But I also have Fights Phrase 2 No Vents. And then in here, I have a few other maps, which I think you guys have seen the Benny the Machine maps already. I also have some Undertale maps. And in here, these are just some normal Counter Strike maps. Nothing new there. And then over here, I also have the Delfino Air 
airstrip. You guys know what that is if you guys have played uh, Super Mario Sunshine. So there is a bunch of other maps for me to play on. Tell me your thoughts on the and like on the all the all the other maps in the comment section down below. And tell me if you guys you know want to see a uh, particular map, and I'll be sure to download it. Also, any particular animatronics? Because I think I've played as most of the animatronics. I don't think I've really missed any animatronics yet. Because I think we've done Nightmare, we've done Phantom, we've done. Actually, if I click right here, we can kind of see what I have here. <laughs> we have uh, okay, so we have Fight for Race Three. Um, we have Fights for a Sister Location. We have Fights for a 3 again, which I think is just, yeah, Fred Bear, Spring Bonnie, and stuff like that. And then we've done Fights for a 1 and stuff like that. I don't know where those animatronics are, but I know we've done them. And, uh, yeah, I don't know really know what's next. I mean, I'm sure there's a bunch of other, like, you know, fan-made animatronics that I guess we could do. But let me know in the comment section down below. And, of course, if you guys enjoyed the video, drop a like on it. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out, guys.